Hello everybody and welcome to Lost Souls. Today is the treasure hunt day. So I'm going to basically start and do that straight away. I'll deal with all the comments I've had in the next episode I think. So let's have a quick look at what I've got on my inventory here. Um, I've moved away that memory card I had before. This is just an empty memory card and I've got this one which has basically got the stuff in that I want to use today. And of course we've got some bits and pieces here that we always carry with us. Uh, I've even got a bucket. I'm not sure whether I need a bucket or not, but we'll take it with us anyway, just in case. But I will take the hammer out. And this pickaxe, well, yeah, we can take this pickaxe out with us as well. This one's, this one's, I want to up, get upgraded a little bit. Um, if I get to the next level, I can then make it unbreakable. So let's start. Now, let's have a look at the journey map. I should have it actually marked, and I think it's somewhere over here. Let's have a look journey map. In fact, probably not the best place. I want waypoints, don't I? Now, where are the waypoints on this? <laughs> Tell you what we'll do. We'll do controls. I've got, I've reprogrammed it control set. So it should be the last one of these because it's the furthest one away. Place. And it's in sort of a greeny colour. Let's make that a different colour. Let's edit that. Let's make it bright yellow. Save that. And it should be over I know where it is roughly base and it should be over here somewhere we'll go outside and have a look because it's basically behind the behind the base on the left hand side I think there we go so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to record the whole of this journey but I'm not going to publish it all with the first thing I, sus I suspect I'm going to say um, because it's going to be long it takes around about so look, about maybe an hour or so to just to get to these different places. I'm going to see how many places I can do in one go. So this is the direction there. Now if you've got choices to go through or fly over, well I'm going to go through as much as I can basically. And I'm just going to go palm my way through all of this stuff like this. And we should come out in some interesting sort of places. So I shall see you in a while when I get to the next place. Oops. Actually, that's the first thing I suppose I should have a look at. That's why I've got the bucket. Well, you can do it either with the bucket or the chalice. I'll use the bucket to start with. Because this uses up my food fairly quickly. But the bucket's actually somehow easier. So we'll just dig a little hole here. And we can use this light and put the bucket down. Here, like that. So, now I just need to eat. Let's go over here. And eat. Now we will drop some stuff on the way, but it doesn't matter very much. So let's go back again. So that's the way I've been dealing with lava, and you'll see here it's actually picking up things like um, lapis lazuli. And we get to the harder bits, it takes slightly longer. Right, I shall see you in a minute. So the place is 160 blocks over there. I think we shall take the... Got the jetpack on, haven't I? Yes, I have. Actually, I don't need the jetpack. Let's just turn the jetpack off. Get number one in my hand. Where is it? Uh, number two. I'll swap them over. That's not very good. I'll have to fight this guy by hand then. Number one, number one, yeah. God, oh, what's he gone to? I've got number one, oh, haven't I? Yeah, I have good. Whoa. Mostly food, I lost out on that one, so get make sure I get this the right way around. Oh, yes, of course, I had to swap them over, didn't I? No, I didn't. What did I do here? Let's press F on that one. I must have pressed F on that one. There's a light something over there. Hopefully it's not a... Oops, I think I'm about to get a service rage. <laughs> now, that was a blight and these things, I don't know much about these things. They're very fast and they're very tough. And I don't know what they are. Now, they can't see us. 
Oh, my drop of evil. I haven't got my drop of evil out, have I? Let's just get my drop of evil out, first of all. Oh, my hammer's broken again, so we can get a drop of evil. There's one here. And I should also get in here now my bow. Oh, I don't want that one. My bow. Arrows and a bow. And of course now I can pick up this fairly easily. Like that. So the place is over there. Now normally, well I've been here before, there's a blazing juggernaut here. Let's get number one out and let's go over here. There he is. Two of them. And there's a, I think there's a blazing juggernaut. Spawner underneath there, so let's get this out quickly before I get any more blazing juggernauts. And I want this one. There we go, picked it up. Phew. So now we've got our piece of paper and some food. And we'll also just break the grave because we can pick up that spawner. I don't know if it's going to be any use having us this one. What do I need? Shovel. That's a shovel. A small cemetery I've got as a reward. So that trick with the um so I'm just I'm just thinking what I'm gonna do here actually to be honest with you. Let's put E down here. I could have put down this a mega torch. That'll prevent mobs spawning around here. Except for where there are spawners. So let's have a look. <laughs> Let's turn my jetpack off, I don't need that on at the moment. I don't think there's anything else particularly dangerous around here. Because we're... Except for ghasts. And of course embers. Now, what I'm going to do now is have a look at this place and put the new map into that. Excuse me, into the place. So let's have a look. I've got all sorts of rubbish I don't really want. I mean, let's get rid of some of this stuff as well. Don't need the spawners. Well, I've got a prosperity shard, of course, from the thing. Probably won't need the grave with me. But I might as well take this <laughs> chest. There's no harm in having an extra chest. Good. And this has got magnetic on it. So I'm a bit cautious at the moment because I've got to do a bit of pieces. Let's have a look at this thing. So, 100 as X. What are the other places? Z, Y, and Z. So it's 100, 111. Let's just put that into the room. And Z73. I can think I can remember that. Um, place 2. So that was, was 100. And this was 1111, I think all the ones in 73 the same height. So we can save that and we'll do that as yellow again, save that. So that is over there, 1600 blocks. Now I've got to go back home because my things have all broken. So let's do that next. I might as well do it anyway, mightn't I? I could put a waypoint down here, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to use the warp stone and walk back to base. One thing I didn't show you, which was a mistake, was the um, the, the indexer doesn't work at a distance. I think that was a different... So the indexer, the remote indexer here, we shall, we'll have a look next time, because I forgot this time. It doesn't work, as I said, at a distance, which is a bit of a nuisance, because it was working in the earlier versions. So I'm going to need a few more of these kits, I reckon. So that's my cobalt. Let's get some sharpening kits made. How many are we going to make? Let's make ten. So we need 20 of these. 20. Of course I can't do it like that. I can do it like this. In fact, that's a daft way of doing it. Let's just shift click those into there. That'll fill up that one and shift click the rest into there. And then let's get the sharpening kit out of here. And put that into here. And put that back again. So in a short while we'll have some sharpening kits. I also noticed that I Oops, that's still door problems. 
I've got a few more things to do. Now, I have got, this is broken, that doesn't matter so much. But I think it's got one more modifier on it. So we can make a reinforcing kit for that one. So let's do that. That's obsidian, isn't it? And I need some face gold plates if I haven't got any already. Or aluminium brass. Aluminium brass, I can make five plates if we haven't got a reinforcing kit in stock. You'll see that these are now getting kits we've got. Two, two of these, or three now, has it gone? So what have we got in here? Okay, those are melting. Now these are probably melt quicker, so I'm going to have to wait to put those in. Um, and then we just, actually, they should just all really go through fairly easily. It might be that it doesn't go through if these are, I'll wait, I'll wait. That's probably the best thing to do. But we've got a gas here, and we've got some sulfur. Let's get rid of that. And I think there's a plate, uh, place powder there as well now the gas tears I think those are in my special back area yes there's three in there now or is it so let's put the fourth one in and of course we can empty out the dank null that's actually one of my things on my list to do is to empty out the dank null so let's put that on there like that <laughs> try right clicking and not shift right clicking it uh, pick this one up Where does that go to? Interesting. Did I go into this hopper? Indeed, indeed. So we've got some overgrown netherrack. I think I'll keep that in there. And you'll see that the things I've been picking up are coming out of here like this. Except for not everything. I think I have to probably do a few more manual things. Let's right click that. So we don't need any of these, but we shall set that to be in control. Left click, so it's all up but one in all of these cases like this but one so we just basically get rid of those but we leave the slot in there so they can be picked up again that was the intention I'm not 100% sure whether I want the, the raw rabbits and stuff like that because that's for something else but so far it seems to be not too bad the next thing I'm going to do I could actually charge up the jet power but it's pretty good at the moment I'm not going to bother we could even repair our, our, our armour but that's also not too bad I could get rid of these two um, spawners. We don't need those. Let's put those into this chest here. Of course, I've got to get them out of here first of all. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these. That should really be going into the thing. Let's put this like this. Let's right double click again and get rid of the prosperity shard. No, it didn't go and did it. Because that's keeping those in a different place. We don't need this one. The netherrack, I think we will put somewhere else because we're bound to pick it up from time to time. I know what we'll do. We will put that into the bank null and extract all but one. Shift right, oops, right, shift right click it. I don't want to right click it, don't I? So let's shift that into there and then control click it so extract all but one. You'll see stuff is still extracting from here as well. We'll do the same for this. I've just done the same thing again. Control click it, that was so that's extracting all but one. So we'll get rid of all of these things. I'm not sure what it's emptying out at the moment. Oh, yes, it's emptying out siltstone. I'll just double check this, make sure that it's not full. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, now we should be able to make the... Um, we should have those sharpening kits all made. So we should have ten of those. Now to remember that next time. Make more. So now what else are we doing in here? Yeah, I need to basically take this out of here like this and put these aluminium brass straight into here like this. And that will then make for us some, put the sharp naked away, it will make for us some blank plates. And they don't take very long to smelt either because it's aluminium brass. And let's get rid of these while I'm thinking about that. I've got some over overgrown netherrack as well and I don't want that with me. Let's put that into here. And I don't want the raw gas meat. Put, let's put the prosperity shard in there with the others. And let's go and put in what I've got here. Haifa. I don't want that one. I've probably got places for that elsewhere. 
this is the trouble you've got lots of sorting out to do and you come back from a sort of a trip and now I should have those plates they should be melted let's have a look three eight I've got eight plates that's good so now we can make with these eight plates some reinforcing reinforcing kits or reinforcements I'm not sure what 63 I want 64 obsidian ha <laughs> what happened to the other pieces of obsidian oh I'm just go down and get one of those from outside Oh, by the way, this is going to change. Got some XP in there. I wonder where that came from. This setup here might not work in the future. The automatic breaker is either going to be removed or it's going to have an, an, ex, a, a, an experience put onto it. I'm not sure which. So we should be able to make the eighth of those now. Let's have a look. Ah. Oh. So now we've got eight of those. So we can put the next one onto the onto the hammer we can also repair the hammer of course we can put one of those on now and that and then these we ship uh oh can't do it okay maybe I have to have a working hammer before I can put it on yes I can look so now I've got reinforced two on that one this one I still don't have quite enough because I wasn't using it that much this one's also got a modifier And I think we're going to put the, another reinforcement onto this one as well. So that they take, they're stronger when we get them. We could take this with us next trip. But I don't think we will. I think we'll leave those here, to be honest with you. Let's put those into this place up here. So we've got some more food. Some more sharpening kits. And let's double check this. So it was X100 y73 and z1111 let's just double check i got the that place to set up correctly it's not so far away good yes that looks that's looks good let's close that so place two let's have a look at this one it's going to be in which it'll be in another corner so the first one was over here placed so the next one is going to be placed two it's going to be in one of the other corners there we go so have we got everything we need not yet we need to pick up this but it's probably still emptying out i guess so we'll look yeah it's actually nearly finished last bit now I could even speed it up you can't sort the dank null by the way it just does it by itself the only way you can sort it is, a, is by sort of moving items out of it, but you know, it's not so important, is it? Oops, I think I've got enough food. So let's get on with well, the next part of the. I don't think we can get. Oh, yes, we can. Something there. Was I being attacked by something? Um, can I get round here? Have we got my jetpack on or off? Jetpack is off, good. We can climb up here then. Now, what can I hear? Let's get that in our hand. thing I haven't found yet are some of the rare minerals from um, that are in the nether one of them is called I can't remember the name of it exactly it's called sanguine or something like that how far have we got to go now place two I've lost in my map <laughs> typical that space it should be over here somewhere there we go look I've got a bit of a tunnel down here. Some blazes over there. Let's just jump it. What's that over there? 
No idea what those are. We shall keep out of the way. Well, I've been over here before. Oh, yes, that was the Slime Island, I think. Did we find the Slime Island before? Yes, I think so. I don't want to keep away from that as well. This is salt. This is actually one of the things that was important. I think. Is that a mob? I'm not sure if that's a mob or a... Let's just make sure we kill it, whatever it is. Uh oh, this is where this is where it gets life gets a bit difficult. These things are very fast. I might have to get my warp stone out. Two hundred and forty health. My goodness, number one. I want. Oh gosh, I've got the wrong wrong thing in there, haven't I? I am going to quickly get out of the way. Get my organization back up again. So I want this, I want to press F. Oops, I better get out of the way. I'm going to get killed if I'm not careful. Very dangerous. Oops. <laughs> Still getting attacked. Mobs. Oh no, I'm not in this case. Phew. Right. Let's get some eating done. That was a bit dangerous, wasn't it? I didn't do that very well. But I do have survived it, which is excellent. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have a quick... I'm not sure what, what I've got at the moment. If I've got spores... I might have spores, which would be very bad. Oh, yes, I've got spores, look. Number one. Let's press F again. Two, F. I don't know how I'm doing this wrong. Are there any more about? Yep. <laughs> I've got to wait for spores to disappear, otherwise I've got a bit of a problem. And I don't really want this to happen around base, do I? Tell you what. Somehow or other, I've managed to swap my stuff around, and I've also used up quite a lot of my ex. Oh, yeah, there's some more. Oops, what happened to him? Oh, of course, he's got stuck on the cactus, that's fine. Maybe I should be standing on top of the cactus. Oh, look, another one. I think I've got rid of spores now, it's gone. Let's have a look. Oh, no, three sec. Oh, the strength. Just having a look around just to make sure that I've got no more of these things. That's uh I bet that went pop. Well, that was very exciting, I must say. I'm back to full health now, that's alright. But the trouble I'm having at the moment, F swap that over there and then press press number one on that one. Why is that not working? Do we need to upgrade and update this one? What have I got now? XP. Nearly. I could give it another sharpness in a short while by the looks of it. But it's still in the wrong place. I want those to be like that. Good. Right. Well, I suppose I've got to go back again and have another go at that. Oops, another one of those. Oh, it's a stupid. Uh, What's happened here? What 
of base destruction and I've got spores again. Great. <laughs> Tell you what I used to do with this. When I first played this in one of the development, I got spores, but the best thing to do with spores is to stay in a hole. And they only spawn in the hole. So how much longer have I got for those spores? One minute and a half, one and a half minutes. Great. Um, let's eat. Yep, some more. It doesn't matter much about the damage, it's because there's nothing here that's very valuable. But I've got to make sure that they don't. Sp there's nothing left when I, before I go to the next place. I don't want any of these things c coming back when I've come back, do I? They don't take too much killing when they're babies, which is good. Let's just pick up this stuff. Oh, tell me, jetpack off the net on, do I? Have some more then. Twenty six seconds to go. Just have to wait. I've got nothing else. I've got to just do this through, see my way through this. Ten seconds. Just look carefully around with a nice bit of lag. Oh yeah. Well there you go. Yeah, as you get the second one, of course, the first one. Once you've killed the first one, the second one kills because you've got strength. What have I got on there? That's some interesting debug information at the top left-hand side. Right, I think I'm, I think I'm safe. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm safe. Right, let's go back to place two. I could repair this, but I'm not going to bother just yet. How did I get it the last time? It was... Oh, it was over the top, wasn't it? Huh. I don't need this block here, do I? Place two. Of course, that blazing juggernaut is still going to be there. How's my jetpack doing? 84% that's fine. Make sure we've got food in our hand. So obviously the disadvantage of going this way is you get the mobs. If I, if I tunnel, I don't get the mobs. I have a feeling I've left something behind I shouldn't have done, but I don't know what it is. But then you don't get the discoveries either. So what I was looking at found last time was the salt, wasn't it? So we got the climbing gov on oops. <laughs> Let's put the climbing gov on G and get that going again. I prefer it. oops. Ah oh, these blazing juggernauts are such a pain. I'm holding down the right button and Hitting it with the left button. So if I don't mess it up, which I didn't do that time, it's not so bad. So place two, God, I've lost my bearings again, is there. I've still got the jetpack on, so I can get back up here. I think I was going this way, wasn't I? Yeah, that's right. So it's been a little bit more exciting. There's another place in Juggernaut now. I think you have to aim a little bit below him as well. Got him, good. I never hit to do on this. This will upgrade to another level. What have we got here? That's the ice and glowstone and... Oh yes, this is... Those hot springs. Very interesting stuff around here. Don't ask me what it is. I think this is magma. I really don't want to do 
get rid of these guys before they do any harm to me. I, I suppose I don't really need to worry across this way. Four, go four across that, and then we'll do go down this way again. Because place two is 15 meters. There it is. Another one I see straight away. So one. Same technique as before I was using. I was holding down the right mouse button and shooting him. What we got? There's that another one. Oh, that's a blaze. That's a blaze. I think what we could do, just for the sake of it this time, let's put down the mega torch here. Like that. And that'll stop more mobs spawning in the in an area. They won't stop stop spawning on the thing, but it'll stop spawning in an area, which is fine. Make sure we've got that in our hand. And have another go. There's another one. Uh, don't want to do that. Let's cancel that. Press escape. Actually, I don't know what that number means on that either, so I've got to be careful about that. So, number one here. There he is. Might be easier to knock this down out of the way so we can see. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> number one. I've got number one, man. Yep, yeah, good. Something. Whether that's dead or not. No, it's not dead. Well, this is very exciting today. That looks like a some strange mob. I've not seen that before. Is that one of those creepers that explodes? God, how am I going to get rid of this thing? Got rid of it. Good. Did I get any hearts from that? So let's go and get those hearts straight away. Now there's the grave and there's there's the spawner. So let's go. I've got this. You know what I haven't got in my hand. That's weird. I haven't got the um, drop of evil. Let's put that there. That's just a blaze. Don't care about that so much. It's only the blazing juggernauts we care about. And of course, we care about the uh, the thing. What's around here? I'm not sure what sort of mob spawn that this is, but we'll just quickly go down and get it. It's another blight thingy. Is that? Oh, it's a blight juggernaut. Well, I don't want to be around this one. Let's go back. Number one. One. This time I'm holding down shift and the right button at the same time. How much health has he got? I still haven't picked up the the paper, the chest thing yet, have I? Where's he gone to? This is far too exciting, I can't cope with it. <laughs> look at this destruction. I've got to find the marker. Oh, it's there, look. I think the grave... Oh, no, the grave's not there. Let's pick up that chest quick. I think the marker might have been destroyed. It has that's not such a problem. I've got it in my oh another another spawn. Let's pick that one up. They're just blazes, aren't they? they? Don't care about those so much. Oh, 
We'll get rid of them though. I think we'll get rid of these guys. I think I'm hitting him. Yes, I am good. So, there's a few bits and pieces around here, but I don't see the piece of paper. Which would be very bad. <laughs> but it's a risk, of course. Now, what I normally do here is I would normally, well I have actually, I backed up before I started the game. So if the worst comes to the worst we do it again. Let's just dig up this. But I already got, I've already done this before so I know where the third place is. What's this one? That's the one we've just been to. That should have moved that, shouldn't I really? Got another grave. Don't really want that one. And I've got two hearts, we'll take those. Well, it doesn't seem as I've got that. Seems as though it's got blown up, doesn't it? What was that? That was strange. <laughs> that was getting attacked from something or other. What was that getting attacked from being in the sludge? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to base. Let's get this one. I'm going to eat because I'm hungry. Because everything's going black and white now. So now what have we got on ourselves here? I've got to uh, probably need to charge up the jetpack. We'll do that first. Can't see it. Of course, I've got only my inventory. Let's just uh, try to get that out of my inventory. Put this and swap it into place. You can't shift click that into there. Of course, you should be able to, but you can't. Um, jetpack's here. Good. Shift click that into there, that's good, that gets charged up nicely. So what else has happened here? What have I got? Some gunpowder. I don't know where I got that from. Okay, let's put this away and empty out the thing again. Um, wrong place. <laughs> you get this you get distract you get distracted when you've been fighting, I can tell you it's sort of the adrenaline sort of running, even though it's not real. Weird. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Some gunpowder. I'm sure I'm gonna have use of gunpowder. Oh, he's got plenty of gunpowder already. That's a nuisance about that that treasure hunt place, but I have got the location, so let's right click that and get rid of the rest of the stuff that we don't really want. Put these two spawners over here. And I think That's possibly about what we want to do. Let's put this away and empty out the um, this thing again. So we'll look and see what's emptying out in here. That's got a few bits to go, hasn't it? Yes, you can see here. It should be coming down to the coal. Ah, oh, this is doing some more salt on. Right. I shall see you in a minute when I've just uh, organised myself a bit better. Well, that was interesting. I was just standing here waiting for the the jetpack to charge up a bit more and oh, a, bl a blight ender came and attacked me. So, well, well, attacked me. Didn't sort of survive, but uh, actually I got him quite quickly as it happened. Um, 
So, what I've got to do, basically, I was getting some food. I think this will do now. I found out the place is over there. Because I have done this before, and I know how to get there. And I know what the risks are. So let's go and get that next one done. Let's put this on, actually. Right, click it on. And we'll put the food into here. I want the shuriken into this one. Let's get the food into that one. F puts it in that wrong order. Let's go that way. Turn the jetpack off. I don't need that for the time being. I don't think we just go up here. And I think we just go around it, actually. We should be able to go around this. If not, I have to do some clever stuff. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Yeah, got past where I wanted to go to. So we've got to go right over there. So let's get a move on. This is actually an awkward area because it got blown up a lot when I was doing my... It's a fortress. We're coming up to another fortress. So what I'm going to do now is obviously we're going to go somewhere else. We're not going to go straight for this place. We'll be intelligent and start. What's that one? Just, just a blaze. That's fine. And there's a blank blazing juggernaut. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down the a mega, a mega, a mega torch like that. That'll prevent mobs spawning near to me. The place is 49 blocks away, so that's fine. I'm going to get the this into my place position here, and I'm going to make sure I've got my sword. So I'm going to repair the sword first of all. It looks a bit low. So, I don't think we can reach that from here. It'd be great if we could, so I'll have to go down here a bit and shift our way down. You can't see us. The skeletons can't see us either. Oops, just throw my sword away. Pick it up quick. There's bound to be a spawner in here. Let's get it spawner out of the way, first of all. Got it. Where's that, where's that thing gone to? Let's get this opened up, get the paper out, so we get the last four places. Let's break this as well. I'm holding down shift. I'm actually surprised I'm not being attacked. Tell you what we'll do. We're going to put down a waystone this time. And we'll place three. Done. And then we're going to go and... Get out of here. Let's that mega, mega torch is over there. Let's go over that way. So that is this. The reason I put down a waystone here is because the area looked quite interesting. In fact, they're all fairly interesting, these places, aren't they? So let's get some food in, so, into ourselves. I don't know where those juggernauts went to. Did I kill them? So let's have a look at this. Is that, is that a skeleton? And a, can't see it from it. Let's kind of have a look. First of all, let's get this place written down here. Put it up here. We can see it safer, can't we? So X is 1512 and it's 1503. Minus 1502, minus. Okay. And it was Z was some. Y was something else. We can do that afterwards. Was it 050? Oh, I think it was something like this. I'm not exactly sure. We'll double check it. 1503. And that was 63, I think. I saved it the same colour and save that. So look at that again. 1502. Oh, it's actually Y60. And Z is 1503. Control C. 
said. It's probably the last place on here because it's going to be the opposite end. Here we go. Let's edit that one. I haven't said what it's called. Let's go to place four. And it was 60, wasn't it? Save that. Close that off. Now, unfortunately, we can't see too much of the map, but place two, place four, and that'll be exactly. Oh, it's not so far away. Let's go for it. What's my jetpack doing? 55%. That's not too bad either. Hopefully that is the place I want to. When I'm going to. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to avoid all of the... See if we can fly as much as we can through this sort of maze of things. Okay, we've got another fortress over here, which sort of makes sense. So what I'm going to do this time, like I did the last time, is I believe this place is nasty. Uh, Bob the Big Bat said, I'm not going there again until I'm prepared. So I guess this is really quite a nasty place. But in the process of going, let's go put some ores around here. Now, where is it? 64 blocks away. Enderman. Ah. Uh -huh. How are we going to get there? Assuming I've got the right place this time. Where is it? Place 476, I've gone past it. So, I didn't see it. Let's see if we can go back again. Over here somewhere. Tell you what we'll do. We'll put down. We're going near, very near it, and put down. There's one of our friends. Put down the torch. Mega torch there. Oh yes, look. Number one. And get this. Ah, oh, it's down here, is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Over there, I see. I might got my jetpack still. Shouldn't really have, should I? Another, another might spawner over here too. I don't know what I'm shooting at. <laughs> I'm very quiet. Where are all these chests? Because I haven't got my... Oh, 
and click these guys. Well, what I didn't get out of my thing here was uh, what I should have got. Let's get some food eating. I think I've got what's important. But there are a few mo there are a few spawners down there. And I guess let's just have a look what I've got in on here. Let's get one of these out. How's my health doing? Actually, it's not doing too badly. Let's take this one. Let's have a look what we've got. It's probably a tome of some description. What is it in here? Final grave, the grumpy bear. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. So I think that's it. Let's put a waystone down here because I've not cleaned this place up properly. This time we'll actually activate it. Last time I forgot to activate it. So we'll say this is four. Done. And right click the bottom of this like that. And then it's activated. So we can simply go back home now to base, which says three plus. I think that's to do with XP, but. Oof. Let's have a look at this book in safety, shall we? <laughs> ah. So, so you made it so far. Well done. Unfortunately, that was the easy part. Lull. <laughs> Make your way up the stairs and collect your prize. Hope you had fun, XD, GW Sheridan, and the Grumpy Bit. Make your way up the stairs and collect your prize. Well, we didn't do that. <laughs> I think that's something for maybe another time. I'm not sure where the stairs were. Let's put that in there. Anyway, we've got the waypoint, so it's dead easy to get back in it, back again. And because I put down the, the torch, some of those mobs will simply disappear anyway, so that's good. So that's going to be the end of this episode, and I shall start the actual next episode straight away after this one. So I hope you've enjoyed the little um, excursion. It's been quite a stress, I have to be honest with you, <laughs> trying to think and concentrate and do all the same things at the same time. It's not that easy. Anyway, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>